Hello everybody, welcome. Now, today I'm going to do a uh, something for one of my subscribers. His name's Dean. Hello Dean. Dean's autistic. And I said I would uh, cook him his favourite meal. Now this meal, I've never ever done and I've never ever tried. So this is going to be fun for me. Apparently it takes a couple of hours to do. I've had to go online and look how to do it and that because I've never had it. So, let me show you what I'm going to do. This could be a fun one for me, this could. Right, Dean's favourite uh, food is moussaka. I've never, ever, ever had it before, ever in my life. So, looking online how to do it, and I found this. So I'm going to do this one. Airy Bikers moussaka. Now, I don't know if it is Airy Bikers, because I've looked on YouTube and I, through the Airy Bikers, and I can't find it. But this is off the BBC website. BBC Food. So whether they've just nicked it or what, I don't know. But that's the one I'm going to do. So there's all the ingredients. I'll go through slowly so you can see it. And the sauce. I've never done white sauce before. And that's how we make it. So... Takes a while apparently, takes a couple of hours. So this could be a fun one for me to try. And we'll see. We'll see how I get on. So, right, first thing first then. It says put the lamb, onions, garlic, oregano, mint, bay leaf, and cinnamon in a large pan and fry over a medium heat for 10 minutes. Breaking with a spoon. So let's do that then. I'll get the lamb in. I hope this frying pan's big enough. There's been quite a lot of meat here. So I might make two and have it inside one if it's nice. Get this in, break it up a little bit first. Add the onions. And all of this, cinnamon stick, garlic, oregano, mint, get it all in. Stir 10 minutes. And cook it through for 10 minutes. I suppose get it all brown and whatever. Right, that's been 10 minutes now, it's all browned up. So now we've got to add in the flour. Boom. A good pinch of salt and pepper, that's what I'm talking about. Seasoning. Get it in. You want the season. drink wine I mean I don't drink anyway so I've just got the cheapest wine I don't know whether that matters when you cook I ain't got a clue uh, tomatoes what I think the wine only cost me like £2.30 or something from Aldi and the tomato puree I need two of these oops gone everywhere There we go, going all over the buggy side now. Now stir that in. I did already pre-do the potatoes, but easier for myself. Which I've now got tomato puree on. Could have put a lid on them. So I said bring it to the boil and simmer. So what I'll do is I'll let it boil and simmer and just keep stirring occasionally. So I'll bring you back when all that's done. Right, while that's cooking away then, it's smelling nice. I'm going to prepare the aubergines. Now I've never ever done them before in my life. I've never tasted them. I've never done them. But don't make it brown when you cut them. So I just stop them going brown. 
I haven't got a clue. Uh, let me have a look. Just say slice the aubergines. Sprinkle with a tablespoon of salt and set aside in a colander for 10 minutes. Then rinse aubergine slices under cold running water and pack dry with a clean towel. That's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to follow the instructions. Does the salt stop from going brown then, does it? Just cut these open then. Let's cut these off. I ain't got a clue. I thought these just went straight brown. Did they just do slices like that? Yeah, I don't know. There they are. I'll get them in a the colander. I'm going to get some uh, salt on them. And leave it for 10 minutes. I'll do what the instructions say. I didn't remember if you had to put lemon on them or anything. Salt. And set aside for 10 minutes and then rinse. I'll do that then. Right, I've just uh, put the aubergines under the running water. I'm going to get them out. Now it says, rinse it under cold water, pat dry with a kitchen towel. So pat them dry. A lot of hard work involved in this. So I'll pat them. They're doing. I've got a pot of boiling water on for the spuds. Right then, fry these. Two or three minutes on each side. Right, right. I'm going to drop, put a little drop of oil in there. Get that heated up. It's heating up, so they're looking nice at the back there. I have been tasting it. I put a bit more salt in because it says on this recipe for once, season to taste, and that's what you're supposed to do. So I get all this wrapped up. I'm going to fry these for two or three minutes on each side. Just do a couple at a time. I thought these were browner than that. I'm a bit shocked at that. Yeah, the one in the middle there. Right, that's done. I put the potatoes in. They're going to for five minutes, it says. And I'm still just frying these up. Looking nice. If I can grab them. About done. Right, the potatoes have been in for five minutes. I've got to drain them and now we'll keep them under cold water for a couple of minutes to get them cold. So I'll do that. Look at me with a tea towel, look. I'll be using a tea towel, whatever happened to me last time. Right, the only thing I've got to make now is the sauce. But I'm going to build this all together first before I make the sauce because I've got stuff everywhere. I've made a right mess. So it says, spoon one third of the meat juices, obviously the lamb, into a dish. Cover loosely with a third of the potatoes, then a third of the aubergines. Right, aubergines, whatever you want to call them. I'm going to put some meat at the bottom. I suppose it's just like a bit like a lasagna, isn't it, I suppose. They've only got a small dish, so there might be too much here. That's what I said, I might make two. But I'll see. There's that one. Well, there might not be, might be enough. Now some spuds. Get them on. Let me know if I'm doing it right. I haven't got a clue. Now some of these. Aubergines, aubergines, whatever you want to call them. I don't think I've done enough, have I? Just have to spread them out a bit. Got to get another lay on there. Ain't that happening, is it? I think I'll cook them ones better than I'll cook my first batch. Now some more meat. Yeah, I'll probably get, only get two layers out of this. Because the bowl's too big. 
They're too small. I'm going to take that out now, the bay leaf. Mmm, looking nice, but bowl's a bit full. I'll squeeze them on, get them on, squeeze it down. How's it looking, Dean? Does it look good? Spread that out a bit. There we go. So far, so good for first attempt. What do you think? Yes, no? Gotta get the sauce on and the cheese on yet. So, onto the sauce now. Right, it says to make the sauce, melt the butter in a large saucepan, stir in the flour, cook for a few seconds, then gradually stir in the milk. I ain't got the milk out. Let me get the milk. I've got the milk. So I'm gonna put the butter in. We're gonna melt the butter. Melt the butter, then add the flour. That's what it says. Right, butter's melted. Get the flour in. I've got a whisk. I'm going to use a whisk. Because I've never done this before. So we'll see. Okay, it's turning into a paste. Which is a good thing. And then, gradually add the milk. Okay. Just a little bit at a time, it says. I don't know if I get the, I'm going to get the whisk at the bottom there, am I? So I'll keep doing that. It's coming on, look. Getting there slowly but surely. Taking me time. Let's keep mixing. Still going. A little bit more. Only a bit of milk. I did change to a spoon because I couldn't get in the cor in the well, corners. Around the edges. In the saucepan, so I swapped it over. Right, what am I going to do after this bit when this bit's finished? Uh, stir in the flour, cook for a few seconds, then gradually milk, yeah. Add half the cheese and the nutmeg. Right, so I've got to put some cheese in. And then some the nutmeg. And simmer gently for four or five minutes, stirring regularly. Right, and salt and pepper to taste. Right, I'm going to do that now then. Stirring some cheese. Half the cheese. There we go. Nutmeg, I haven't even opened this. Um, I bought this one, the grain one already. I was going to buy the other one, but I thought it doesn't matter, does it, I suppose? So there's a teaspoon of this, I think it says. Might have been a tablespoon, I can't remember. Have a quick look. Uh, one teaspoon of nutmeg, yeah. And keep stirring away now. Now I'll put it onto simmer and keep stirring. Salt and pepper. Stir gently, occasionally, it says. There you go, it's looking on. Might be, I don't know, you're supposed to be really watery, white sauce. I don't really have it. I don't suppose that's too bad, is it? First attempt. Well, I'll give that a few minutes to simmer. Right, that's all done. Uh, just as allowed to cool now, and then put an egg in it. So I'll let that cool down, put an egg in. And it'll go in the oven for however long it's supposed to be. I don't know, I can't remember. Uh, 
35 to 40 minutes with the cheese on top. So, all right, that's cooled down a bit now. So I'm going to put an egg in and then mix it together. What's the egg for? Does anyone know? Is it to make it all thicker when it's cooking, is it, I suppose? Then got a clue, I'll bond it all together. So I'll stir all this in. Looks like it's curdled now with that egg in. Oh, that's getting a bit better now. I did taste that sauce, put my finger in it, I'll have it a little taste and uh, I might have put a little bit of too much nutmeg in. But, each to their own I suppose. Right, there's the sauce. So let's get it over the top and get it in the oven. Right then, let's sprinkle it all over, cover it all it says. Find its own place I suppose. Well, let's give that a little shake. If I can get it moving around a bit. Be alright. And the rest of the cheese on top. Never had this, man. How's it looking, Dean? What do you think, mate? Is it looking good? Or are you laughing at me? For doing it all wrong. There you go, my first attempt so far. It's looking okay, isn't it? Yeah. Right, in the oven for 35 to 40 minutes. Right, it's done and it smells delicious. I'm gonna get it out. I don't and I don't think I've done a bad job. I should have drop it. Whoa, oh, uh oh, get on there quick. Whoa, what do we think of that? What do we think? God, it's hot. Let me uh, try and get it straight. Yes, look at that beauty. What do you think of that, Dean? Does that look nice? Looks yummy, doesn't it? Crunchy. For first attempt, I'm quite impressed at the minute. Right, I'm going to leave it to cool down because obviously I can't eat that yet. It's going to be scalding hot. And then I'll dish it up and we'll have it. We'll have some and we'll see what it's like. Yum yum. Right, I've left that about ten minutes now, so it's cooled down a bit. It's still a bit warm. So let's see if I can get any out. Let's cut around the edge first. Best thing to do. Smells delicious, you know. Now I don't even know what it's supposed to look like. Is it supposed to look like lasagna? Make sure I cut it properly. I might try this bit here, actually. Crunchy bit. I can grab it. Let's cut around. Now I've got to get it out. Somehow. Plate. Let's get a little spatula. Let's have a look. First time ever. Oh, just knocked it as well. Oh yes. What do we think? Doesn't that look nice? Yum yum. And there's the thing itself. Nice little bit juice in the middle. What do you think, Dean? That look tasty? Well, we're going to find out now, mate. Taste test time. I'm looking forward to this one. I've never had it before. So, there we go. It smells absolutely delicious. I don't believe I've never had one of these. 
No, let's dig in. Oh, look at that, just falling away. That's what you want. Oh, still hot. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh. I can't believe I've never had this. I can't believe it. Even the nutmeg, nice little. I thought when I done the sauce and I tasted it, uh, I thought I put too much nutmeg in, but I haven't. That's perfect. Wow, absolutely wow. That is the best one I've done on this channel so far. That is a stunner. Absolute stunner. I can't believe that. There you go, Dean. I hope you like that, mate. That is gorgeous. I'm well happy. I'm absolutely first time as well. I'm well happy. Oh, man. And there's loads left. Let me see if I can pick it up. It's hot. I thought it had only been a small, a small one, but it's loads, look. It's absolutely gorgeous. Right, it took me to two hours, 45 minutes, roughly what the recipe says. Bang on. Do that. That's gorgeous. I'll leave a link to the actual, uh, the recipe at the bottom in the description. In case you want to try it. it takes a bit of time and loads of washing up after and pots and pans and well it's gorgeous so there you go i hope you enjoyed that dean uh as i say i am the old food guy that was stunning absolutely till the next time i'll see you later bye bye i'm gonna have more gotta have more gorgeous oh that'll be going in the fridge and in the freezer and having me some more of that that's stunning hmm Bye.